Hello and welcome to my channel all about decoupage. Hi, I'm Veronica and today we're gonna do something totally different. I have seen this kind of ornament before so I had to try it. So here is my try of making it. It is a 3D gnome Valentine's Day ornament. So let's get started. I use plastic ornaments for this project and First, I have sent off the imperfections on the ornament itself. Then with a little bit of alcohol, I remove any grease the plastic ornament might have. And I, then I start measuring the middle of my ornament. Because if you are like me, I do never see the middle of stuff, then I use a ruler to get the perfect circle of the ornament. Then I went ahead and cut it out with electric knife for plastic. Of course, you can use exacto knife if you don't have this kind of tool. Then I remove the cut it part, of course, and since I didn't need this one, I just throw it away, of course. Then with an exacto knife, I just cut off any bigger imperfection it might have. Then I paint it with white paint the inside of the ornament and of course the outside of the ornament as well and I painted it twice, let it dry between each layer. Since it is Valentine's Day soon I decided to use this cute gnome Valentine's Day image and I used one in the inside of the ornament and one on the outside of the ornament. I applied a little bit of decoupage glue in the inside of the ornament then I tear up the image in few places so it will fit better onto the ornament and then I placed it inside the ornament making sure it is somehow straight. And then I glued the image with more decoupage glue. Make sure there is no excess of the glue because it will dry out white, not clear. The same process was on the outside of the ornament, on the other side of the ornament. So I just use my water pen to cut up the image and then I tear up the image in few places, put a little bit of decoupage glue onto the ornament, then I place the image on the ornament itself and then I glued it with more decoupage glue. And I let the whole thing dry. After drying it was time to paint around the image itself so I painted of course the inside of the ornament and the same way I painted the outside of the ornament as well going inside the rice paper itself for better blending. All materials I use will be listed in description box below. Uh, please note only I do live in Slovakia, so I am listing materials I bought here in Slovakia or some other places on the internet. If you have any questions about the material I used, just comment and let me know and I will answer you 
as soon as I can and as much as I can to help you. By no means I am a painter, so I am just trying to blend the colors uh, the best way I can. So just have fun and paint your ornaments the way you want it. With a small brush, water and some paint, I apply dots on the ornament itself, of course in the inside and the same way outside as well. Let it all dry. After drying, I use pouring glaze on my ornament. So I applied four to five layers of the glaze the same way inside, like on the outside, let it dry between each layer. Of course, you can use varnish as well. Since my ornament was drying, I decided to make some hearts, 3D looking hearts for my ornament with some air drying clay and some wire. I just glued two pieces of clay hard with wire together. I made different sizes of the hearts. Then with some molds, air drying clay, I decorated the rest of the ornament. I glued the clay with express glue from Pentart. If you don't want to make this kind of ornament, but you want to have one, this one will be listed in my Etsy shop, Stapsic Design as well. The link to my Etsy shop will be in the description box below as well. So after watching this video, go ahead and check it out. Since there are roses on the image itself, I decided to use clay roses on the ornament around and I glued it all with express glue from Pentart as well. On top of the ornament, I decided it needed a bow, so I did glue one clay bow on the top of the ornament as well. And the other side of the ornament had to be decorated as well, so I put a larger rose on it and one cl clay heart as well.
Of course, the ornament needed a little cute saying, so I just use a little bit of clay and I press the saying, the stamp saying onto the clay, making sure it is visible and then I applied it on the ornament itself. I am using a cookie cutter for nice round edges. And as you can see, sometimes even I cannot decide where I am going to put my stuff. So I just play it around and then I decided to put the saying down on the ornament. Then for the inside of the 3D look of the ornament, I used styrofoam, a little bit of styrofoam and I glued some roses onto it and some hearts as well and after everything was glued everything had to dry because i don't like to paint my stuff when it's still wet I also glued little hearts inside of the ornament for more 3D effect. After everything was dry, it was time to paint the hearts and the ornament, of course, as well. So I used a little bit of black paint, a little bit of pink, and I think it's, it is called wine red paint for it. And I used glove because sometimes I am a messy painter. After the paint was dry, I just applied a little bit of white paint uh, with dry brush on the hearts for a shabby chic effect. Of course, the hearts had to be sealed as well, so I used matte varnish for this. Of course, you can use glossy one as well. I like the kind of matte look. Then 
then i painted the ornament with these paints as well so i just alternate the pink and the wine red paint the black paint some beige and white paint as well With cut up kitchen sponge, I applied a little bit of beige paint on the roses and around the ornament. And then with the other sponge, I just applied a little bit of white paint as well. Then I let the whole thing dry. After it was dried, it was time again to seal my ornament. So I again i used matte varnish for this and i just applied the matte varnish on the clay part of the ornament of course inside and outside as well if you are still watching which i am hoping you are hang on we are almost finished so after the varnish was dry I applied wax paste on the ornament for a little bit of shimmer, glimmer and so on. I used gloves for this part because wax paste is kind of messy. With gel paste it was time to put my 3D decorations inside the ornament. And really the last thing I did was adding 3D decor pen on the ornament for a little bit of accent of the hearts, the roses and the head of the gnome. I do hope you like this video with my 3D gnome Valentine's Day ornament. Here it is all finished. Please let me know what do you think about this 3D gnome ornament. More of these I will be making. So thank you so much for watching till the end. If you do like it, please do comment. Please do give me a thumbs up and please do subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you again for watching. Until next time. Bye.